All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, we're talking about the Las Vegas Raiders in today's video coming off a 20 to 16 road loss against, you know, what I thought was like maybe the worst team in the NFL, considering all the injuries, the Los Angeles Rams and 20 to 15 loss on the road where Gardner Minshew steps in for an injured Aiden O'Connell, throws three interceptions, four turnovers, penalties were all over the place. It was a disgusting game. Unfortunately, Aiden O'Connell suffers a fractured thumb, so he's going to be on the IR for about four to six weeks, and he assigned Desmond Ritter, and Desmond Ritter, nothing too special there, started 13 games for the Atlanta Falcons last year. He completed 64.2% of his passes for a little over 2,800 yards and only 12 touchdowns and also conveniently 12 interceptions now this sucks because Aiden O'Connell started the last two games and he threw for 455 yards with two touchdowns and two interceptions on the year thus far Gardner Minshew man it's been terrible I mean it's just been really really bad he has a little over 1100 passing yards on the season four total touchdowns and he leads the lead or tied with the lead league in interceptions with Jordan Love and Patrick Mahomes. All three, like we said, Ram scores on Sunday came off Minshew turnovers. Pierce also pointed out that the 10 penalties for 80 yards, the Rams only had three, can't happen. Gets even worse, only two receivers caught passes against the Ram. Trey Tucker with three catches for 36. DJ Turner with two for 13. It's just really bad and we're going to talk about how bad it is in today's video but before we do if you guys enjoy it hit that like button hit that sub button for weekly las vegas raiders content we try and get this vid to 100 likes folks that would mean the absolute world to me um all right so sometimes honestly you have to be really bad to you know get better and it's clear like you know we'll talk about antonio pierce in a second it's clear like nobody wanted to get see like Antonio Pierce didn't want Luke Getzey. The Chicago Bears didn't want Luke Getzey. That should tell you enough right there. Um, but obviously, Cliff Kingsbury was supposed to be the Las Vegas Raiders offensive coordinator. And as much as I like to critique Antonio Pierce's in-game decisions, we're going to get to that fourth and goal in a, a couple of minutes here. The I, I hate firing a coach what feels like every single year. I don't think that helps. But at the same time, I'm not loving Antonio Pierce's calls. I'm not loving that he doesn't really have much coaching experience. But if this leads to a consistent level of coaching, if this miserable year, seven games into the season, and it feels like it dealt with worse before, last year was it started really bad too. But if this leads to a franchise quarterback, if this can lead to a more competent, capable offensive coordinator or head coach or whatever your opinion is, then you, know, you zoom out of the chart and it's worth it. But it's hard to hit on a franchise QB in general. But I would love to get a college offensive coordinator just like Click Cliff Kingsbury to come in here and just get some more creativity going. You're looking at Cliff right now, and he's done such a phenomenal job with Jaden Daniels. They're five and two. But Jaden Daniels got banged up against Carolina's defense really early on this past Sunday, and they still won 40 to seven. I know it's the Carolina Panthers defense, but folks, it's the freaking Los Angeles Rams defense. So I'm hoping Antonio Pierce can make some type of change soon because Luke Getze obviously is not his first choice. But there was that play, man. It's There's two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. If you watch this game, you know what I'm talking about. The Raiders are down eight points to the Rams. It's fourth and goal from, like, what, the eight-yard line? There's two minutes and 50 seconds left, and you're down eight points, and you're on the eight-yard line, and we're kicking a field goal. And it's like the thought process that he had is, you know, oh, you know, we put some points on the board. We have all three timeouts. We'll get the ball back. That's exactly what happened. And then, of course, Gardner Minshew throws another interception. So it's like, I would rather go for it on fourth and goal from the eight-yard line, not score the touchdown, stop them three straight times, and get the ball in a more friendly possession. Like, you can get the ball around midfield as opposed to being, you know, back at the 25 or the 30 with no freaking timeouts and like a minute and a half left. And, you know, what we saw from Gardner Minshew, it just, stuff like that really grinds my gears because I just don't understand the coaching philosophy of that. You know, obviously, like, you know, being such a Madden superstar like myself, it's clear as day, but I just don't know how you can 
like argue that that was the right move and i just wish he took maybe a little bit more accountability saying yeah i shouldn't have done that it didn't make any freaking sense to anybody the good news is for the las vegas raiders brock bowers is a stud he's like tight end one right now 47 catches on 60 targets for 477 total yards he just had a phenomenal game 10 catches 93 yards on 14 targets against that rams so the good news is we did find a superstar at tight end all right and he's extremely versatile extremely big time player so on the team the team's offense is ranking 24th in points 25th in total offense 30th in rushing they're also tied for the fifth most sacks allowed at 20 the team's quarterback leads the league combined in interceptions at 10 and even the defense hasn't been great and you know obviously injuries like christian wilkins for the entire season are catastrophic but the defense actually did not lose them this game in any way, shape, or form. You know, they gave up 20 points. You know, the Raiders really in the second half stepped up. They held them to just 259 total yards of offense. They did an interception. They also had a sack. They also held Los Angeles to just two of 10 on third down. They only gave up two scoring drives. If your defense is giving up two scoring drives, I don't need to paint a picture for you guys because you know what I'm talking about. You can't score 15 points in a game and expect to win. This game reminded me so much of that stupid freaking Vikings game where it's tied zero to zero in the fourth quarter. I almost would rather <laughs> lost three to zero on a field goal. I would almost rather watch that football game. And at that time, I thought that was the worst game I'd ever watched in my entire NFL viewing history. Honestly, maybe the worst sports game I'd ever watched one year ago. I would rather watch that than whatever the heck I just watched against the Rams. I'm really close to just put it on red zone <laughs> during these games. And the worst part is it doesn't get any easier. Got a home matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs and then a road matchup against the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, obviously, all signs are kind of pointing that the season feels like a wash. It feels like it's over. But, you know, if there is one thing we know, last year the Raiders, you know, really figured it out. And they were a game away, honestly, last year from making the playoffs and, you know, lost to Gardner Minshew conveniently. Where did that version of Gardner go? So, I don't think Desmond Ritter is going to get the start. Um, I kind of like the rookie backup backup even more than Gardner and Desmond Ritter. I really hope Ritter, I like really hope Ritter doesn't start. I would actually rather have Gardner Minshew start every football game for the rest of the season than Desmond Ritter. Uh, but you never know what's going to happen. A win against the Kansas City Chiefs would turn the season around. Not saying that they're going to go on a roll and you know finish twelve and five or you know, go ten and seven and make the playoffs. But the season technically obviously isn't over being seven games into the year. And um, a Kansas City Chiefs win will go a really, really, really long way. All right. So I'm curious what my Raiders fans watching this video want them to do. Uh, who do you want to start at quarterback? Do you want to see any coaching changes? Let me know down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily Raiders content. And we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.